sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got an Eastern Conference battle ready to get rolling, and the Chicago crowd wants some love from their Bulls. This their first look at this year's Washington squad. Last season, they couldn't get the edge in the matchup as they went one and two in the season series. Here we go. And in Chicago to start out. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So on the floor for Washington. Rubber is out there with Wallace. Then it's the bodyguard. Then it's ABC. And it's Strickland in at the one spot. Just five on the clock. Outside Jordan. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. So much excitement as we tip off the season. Steve, as a player, did you get butterflies on opening night? You no, know, Kevin, I remember my rookie year, that first game. We were playing the New York Knicks led by Patrick Ewing. Oh. I mean, the butterflies were flying. And even in my last season, the 14th season, the butterflies were the same. It's something about opening night. It's, it's just special. And no matter whether you're a rookie, you've been in the league 14, 15 years, those butterflies still kick in. And it tells me you love the game, Steve, even uh, as much your last season as you did in your first season. And I think it also, Kevin, to add to that, you respect your opponent, even in year 14, 15. Here's Strickland. This is it to ABC. Here's Weber. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And where's the help? Obviously a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Only the first quarter. Guys are getting in the groove, but communication with the defense has to be better. Here's Cheney. The shot misses. Jordan with some nice deep. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Harper the pass to Rodman. It's Pippen on the way. He's guarded by Howard. Pippen kicks to Hart. Three-pointer on the way. Chicago working now with a new shot clock. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Hart. Weber. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. A guy who converts well at the rim, you like to see the aggression there. You really like him setting the tone early, physical, challenging guys to stop him. Now here's Rodman. Good D by Weber. Wizards have gone two or three here to start out the game. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And you have to like the location of this pass. Gives it to him where he can do something with it. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Some changes for Chicago. Kukoc, he's checked in for Rodman. Lights out comes in for Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with the Bulls head coach. He told me he's looking forward to the matchup tonight. It's their first time against this team, so he is curious to see what his guys do on offense. He said it's important that we're aggressive defensively, that we use our length and shot blocking as a deterrent inside. We'll see if they can be successful tonight. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Sounds like he really wants them getting after it at the defensive end. And I expect to see them very active here early testing every shot and, and battling for every rebound. It's a game plan that's going to take a lot of effort and energy, but if they can pull it off, it'll make things that much easier for them at the offensive end. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And as of late, they have not looked good at all. Actually, they've been dominating. And the worst part, they're starting to get down on themselves. Really need that one big play to spark some life back into the Six seconds left here in the first quarter. And the foul on Big Smooth. That's his first foul. There's 53 seconds left in the first. Only 
with the bucket. The defense has to know not to put a smaller defender on a player of his caliber. Whitney against Kirk. To the paint. To the inside. Here's Lights Out, and he banks in the lane. Lights Out's got his first bucket of the night. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. To the left wing, Ham passes to Grant. Not loose. Crew coach with the steal. Pass to Kerr. Inside. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lights out, he's got his second basket of the night. Attacking on the interior. I like that attitude. Pass to Ham. Here's Grant. That one goes. Count it. Grant's got his first points of the game. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Wizards lead by two. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? I mean, really good with their post presence. It has really allowed them to establish a physical tone here in the first. Well, you know, in this era, everybody likes the three-point shot. I like their commitment to pounding the ball inside. They got Longley. Lights out out there at Tony Kukoc. Then there's Brown, and it's Kerr in at the two spot. That's the Bulls' five as we get into the second quarter. Grant, and it's Chicago with the rebound. And that can't happen. This is the wide-open chip shot. Mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, yeah, you're right. Almost a free run from there. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stops. That one a little long. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with Ripper. Kerr can't hit. A high percentage look from the mid-range. Might have been surprised that he was so wide open. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Smitty, you had an unbelievable career. Was there any chance or opportunity that you did not take that you wish you had? You know, Kevin, is there's three of them. One, um, I had a chance to be traded to the New York Knicks. I always wondered what it would be like to play in New York. They called that the Mecca. I did take that chance. I think second uh, was to get a chance to play overseas at the end of my career. I think those are the two things that I wish I had a chance to go back. I would make a different choice. And the Wizards with possession after the Bulls pick up two. It's good. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. On kickstart. Pippen for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Pippen's got five now. And Harper brings a lot of physicality to the table. Also solid at cutting the D apart with his passing. Here's Strickland. Here's Weber. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Pippen. Fires the three. They grab their own miss. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Wizards trailed by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the basket is good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And so Brown will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And to look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Bulls. And you can see how important those inside baskets are. This is a team that loves to work the ball inside, whether the entry pass or off of a drive. They like to feed on those high percentage looks. And the Bulls making a change here. Jordan's checked in. Pippen simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Here's Strickland. 
He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Howard off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Jordan, the pass to Harper. Pulls it from 20. Rodman. It's good on the putback. Rodman's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Shots good by Strickland. Strickland's got his first points of the night. He turned on the Jets. As soon as he got that screen, it went right to the hole. Great decision making there. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Feeds it to Kukoc. Outside Pippen. Shot clock at five. A fade away. And the Bulls get it back. Jordan dishes to Kukoc. Outside Pippen. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And the first one goes. Second free throw, no good. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Murray, the pass to Waltz. Here's Murray. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Bulls out front, up by four. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. There were a lot of positives for them to take away from the second quarter where they came from behind to take a four-point lead at the half. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? You have to love a team that pounds the offense. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Chris Webb really making a difference here. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. What I love watching is they are working for high percentage looks and cashing in when they get them. So on the floor for Washington, bodyguard is out there with Weber. Then there's Wallace, and it's ABC, and it's Strickland and at the point. Outside for Pippen. No good on the three. Wizards trail by four. Here's Strickland. A pass to Weber. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. So many metrics out there right now, Steve. One of the big ones, scoring efficiency. Who comes to mind in that area? Well, you look at the percentage. Kevin Durant, the amount of shots he takes, he shoots with a high percentage. Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, I think also Anthony Davis is up there. Being able to score at different areas, not just dunking the basketball, being able to score at all three levels. Those are some of the guys that shoot a high percentage. Really, a lack of focus coming out of the break. So far, they are 0 for 3. Here's Strickland. It's deflected. And have the basketball just over that plate so far. Pippen against Help. Right side, Pippen. Stolen by Weber. It's stolen by Rodman. Harper with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And again, Chicago. No good. Off target right now. Four straight misses coming out of the half. So they take the lead. And the Wizards lead by one. The Bulls have gone. Pull a four from the field in the second half. Yet to find them all. And they double up Jordan. Down low. Long lead. 
rebounded by Howard. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start. Outside Harper. Down low. Here's Longley. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Out to the wing. This is a district one. To the boot. In transition, here come the Bulls. And it's Jordan slamming it down. And, and Harper, hard to get around. A physical defender, he'll use that athleticism and reach. And that was an Unleashed Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. So, timeout called here, the first for Washington. Chicago making some changes. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Rodney. Lightout comes in for Scotty Pippen, and Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And stolen by Jordan. And here's the fast break, Jordan leading the way. Kerr dishes to Jordan. It is good. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. And it's Grant in the corner. Murray outside. Taps in the tray. Murray's got the game tied up here for Washington. This is what these perimeter plays are designed to produce. Quality looks for spot-on shooters. Seconds left to play here in the third. Kerr against Whitney. Murray left side. Clock is at three. It's deflected. Here's Kerr. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against Washington. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And you look at Kerr, just a sharp shooting role player. His game really about guts and intelligence. This is where he feels 100% comfortable taking all the free points he can get. Here's Grant. Got a piece of it. He gets it up. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The third quarter comes to a close. Bulls lead by four. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure than basketball. They're out there with Brown. Then it's Kukoc. Then there's Longley. And it's lights out. And at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now the feed to Weber. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And Weber always a guy that can score the basketball. And once he gets going, it is tough to slow him down. Hooked away. Two coach passes to Longley. Good D by Weber. Coming down the stretch here, holding the lead. You like him to be more efficient offensively. On the strike, two coach grabs the miss. Well, this is why you see guys shine away from the mid-range jump. It's a bit of a lost heart. Round against Grant. Chicago making some changes. Rodman comes in for lights out. And it's Harper in for Kerr. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Now Harper. Count that one. And 
the Bulls lead by four. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Strickland. The dish to Wallace. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Unbelievable basket. I mean, giving up a lot of height there, but he was not to be denied. That's getting it done. He's turning up a notch now that things are getting heated. The rebound by Chris Weber. Weber's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. That's the ABC. Nice ball movement by Washington. Weber against Rodney. To tie it up. Weber gets the bucket. Weber's got it all tied up now for Washington. Yeah, that, that's careless defense, though. I mean, he's one player you can ill afford to let run free. He just loves to be a money player in the fourth quarter. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Chris Weber. for Chicago. Pippen comes in for Kukoc, and it's Jordan in for Brown. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, I was able to listen in to what the Bulls coach was going over with his team. This is a close game, as you know, but he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move, right now. Evan? Now, here's Jordan. He's guarded closer. And he comes up with the deuce. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Harper. Howard, the pass to Weber. Over Rodman. And Washington again with the bucket. And that mid-range J of uh, Weber, fantastic at scoring from that area of the floor. Harper kicks to Jordan. To the middle, long lead. Here's Rodman. Back to Jordan. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance to the line. As if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. Oh, the little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. And so Jordan nails both of them. This guy is the definition of the word clutch. He has all the trust in the world from his teammates in these kinds of situations. Here's Strickland. He's guarded by Harper. They had a foul to get there. Not having your team. He sinks the clutch free throw. Second, that misses. And, and you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. What more can you ask for? Phenomenal here in the clutch. This is what fans tune in to see. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down low, Longley, and it's sent back by Wallace. And this is why Wallace is an elite level defender. He has a great sense of timing for when to rise up and contest shots. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. up making the second and that gives them a four-point cushion there's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter Harper kicks to Jordan the tray rebound by the Wizards they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul yeah, you know 
know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And how unique is Weber? A smooth shooting big man with some sick handles. Second one is good. In both at the line, and it's a six point ball game. And, and that's Curtin's form. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. Here's Harper. Can't connect. And so it's the Wizards with the W. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.